about 207 kilometers away from Kimbo which means we have done more than half of the journey my grip on the throttle twist is getting tired I traveled roughly 600 kilometers today just non-stop Cross River State, still in the Cross River State in Nigeria. So, if you are watching outside my time zone, and depending on what time you are seeing this video, good afternoon and good evening to you. This morning, we are going to be heading towards um, Gimbo. Apparently, it is the only land border crossing where foreigners can get into Cameroon uh, as at now since the Ikok border where I went yesterday is officially closed by the government until further notice for obvious reasons number one the crisis happening in that region and also I learned since the COVID pandemic they have decided not to open that border and I believe it's mainly because of the crisis in that region it will put foreigners at risk if they are permitted to use that route into Cameroon it makes absolute sense so yesterday the officers insisted that I redirect to Gimbo and that's where we're going today it's about 450 kilometers away and I'm not sure I can do all today if the roads are good the bike works fine no rain I believe I'll be able to make it to Gimbo today otherwise I'll divide it into two halves do maybe at least 300 kilometers today and then tomorrow I'll finish the rest hopefully I slept in this Ebenezer hotel I paid 12,000 naira um, for the night I don't know how, how much that is in, in your local currency so you can do the, the conversion it's not what I expected with that amount yeah we just have to learn to be grateful and thankful for um, whatever we will see whether we like it or not yeah so beautiful people great reception my only challenge was the water not flowing and ceiling fan making too much noise apart from that i'm glad i could spend the night here in Ukom. so let's hit the road and then head towards Gimbo. Morning. Good yes, sir. Okay, yeah, this is Nigeria. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes, sir. Okay. Thank you. Am I? Oh. The fathers who advise us to go easy. So, um, Ikom is a, it's a major town and this morning officers are stopping bikes already. Uh, Ikom is a, I believe it's a capital city of a, one of the local governments in the Cross River State. It is 24 minutes past 7 a.m. local time and we are back on the road. I don't know how much we can do, but we'll do as much as we can. The town is awake, school children, commuters, motorists, everyone is using the streets this morning. It had been a lovely time here in Yukon. The alternatives that were offered 
at the consulate and at the border where to use airplane or use the ferry or ship to enter Cameroon and I mean I'm on a motorbike for ferry it makes sense but for airplane it doesn't but also I inquire about the ferry in Calaba and it was outrageously expensive at the time I was with my brothers so we went there my goodness that amount of money can take you very very far if you have to go on the road I'm an overlander so if there are land alternatives for me to get into a country I would rather choose that I will explore that alternative as compared to going on the ship besides I am not a fan of water so I decided to explore all the land borders available if it becomes worse I can switch to the closest preferred alternative ferry or ship in the meantime father I give you praise and I thank you for the gift of this morning give me the grace to use the roads wisely today I pray for all other road users that will not do anything selfish to hurt each other on the road but we will keep each other safe I thank you for my friends who are watching from around the world Lord bless them let your grace be enough for all of us I thank you for my brothers Goshes and Echo who are in the West African direction please be with them and let your favor be with them Amen <laughs> I understand the road from Ikom to Igoja. This particular stretch here is quite good. But beyond Ogoja is when I shall face some patches, potholes, and dead roads. It's a road motorcycle adventure. Let's go for a spin.
Please feel it. Feel it. Good morning. Do it. Eight thousand. Eight thousand. We have done at least 260 kilometers and we are in Takum. It's quite a, a busy town. We have about, about 207 kilometers away from Kimbo, which means we have done more than half of the journey. The time is 11.46 a.m. and estimated time of arrival is 3.56. Let's see if we can make it. Personally, I'm doing well. The bike doing fairly well. Throttle twist is slippery. My grip on the throttle twist is getting tired. And I can hear... misfires I don't know whatever it is <laughs> we are still on the move uh, road <clears throat> the road condition it is good for a while and it is bad for a while it is just unpredictable so let's keep going oh yeah so we are hitting the, the highlands of Nigeria in the Taraba state. We made a, a short stop at Bali. And now the hills are showing up majestically and beautifully. We are taking some twisties through the highlands. In fact, the journey had been longer than I expected. Uh, Google map was taking me through the shortest route. But now, this one is a bit longer. And it could be the safest. As the twisties are showing up and the hills are emerging from behind the woods we are 217 kilometers away and we should be able to do that in the next four hours let me see if I can save redeem some time since I spent some time pulling the CDI I thought my, the CDI I bought had gone bad again but actually, it was because of the heat. As I climbed up north, it was becoming more hotter and hotter. So the CDI could not contain the heat. And it started misfiring. Beaches here and there. But then, the mechanics brought several other CDIs. Obviously, they were not going to work, but when I told them they wouldn't listen so I kept quiet and they tried their best definitely I appreciate that they were trying to help me but this is my motorbike I know the model of CDI that works for it but yeah sometimes mechanics 
want to be mechanics. Anyways, I allow the new ones to cool down and then we reinstall them. Bike is back to normal. you can see me it's very dark in here <clears throat> okay finally I made it to a town about four about 49 kilometers from Gembu I'm in a town called Guruji and that's where I'm going to be spending the night I traveled roughly 600 kilometers today just non-stop the only place I had to stop was to get my bike fixed again briefly and so I feel very very exhausted and yes I enjoyed the view of the mountains and man absolutely amazing it's really nice to see highlands like this with canyons and ravines and it's just beautiful the only thing is it is tiring to navigate because a whole lot of sections of the road are under construction I was rushing so I didn't really stop to capture much yeah I, I mean just few things the gamble road is, is absolutely mind-blowing yeah if you have the willpower to come up here you are welcome it is so cold here that they don't have fans in their rooms they don't have refrigerators if you buy water it's already cold in fact when I was around Bali my water actually felt so hot as if it boiled in the bottle so just when i came on the hills and then i made a stop to take a sip the water was so cold i was so surprised but yeah let me just show you where i'm going to be staying i paid five thousand naira for it it's not the best but it is what i need to rest let me just show you that's the bed chair at the corner my top box so when I came I was so hungry that I bought these noodles with egg. Yeah, that's it. The washroom. Um, there's no water flowing. Um, that's it. You get the water in a bucket. And uh, nothing in here. Oh yeah, and there's a TV at the corner there, as you can see behind me. All right, so let me just bring it to a close for the day and go grab some rest ahead of tomorrow. As usual, I'll see you in the next episode.
God's grace and peace. Bye for now. Haha, <laughs> it is so foggy I could barely see anything right now. This is Nigeria. So beautiful. To my left is Cameroon and to my right is in Nigeria. We are done at the Nigerian side. Technically we are in Cameroon. <laughs>